Hello there. I, th I thought I'd do a new background as well as I was getting rather tired with some of the old ones. That's the Morrigan, the b battle goddess of the ancient Iris behind me, um, who is normally represented as a triple goddess. Anyway, before we go with that, I've discovered that Simon Webb has a penchant for writing a science fiction and seems to be writing a Marvel, so what might pass as a Marvel comic screenplay. I shall share why I think this. Here's some more from that great document yesterday. Let me go up a bit. And down a bit. Now we're going to have some great stuff about two groups of humans in a bit. In this great large text of his. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. Within a few years of the arrival of what we might as well call Homo sapiens plus. Simon seems to be doing an X-Men riff here or something. Homo superior, something similar. Presumably, he, presumably Simon's been employed by Marvel Studios and will be popping out a draft of the next X-Men movie soon. Um, maybe he'll play Magneto. Um, possibly not. Magneto is a sympathetic villain. Works of art, though, were being treated such as a figure which was human. Let's go down a bit further. The human population which had stayed behind in Africa simply stagnated. Over the next 50,000 years in which Homo sapiens plus... Um, the upgraded version, that is, by which we can presume Simon means white people, move from the Stone Age to the Industrial Revolution. By the way, Simon, if uh, Homo sapiens plus are those who uh, uh, migrated out of Africa, what are Homo sapiens Asian? Are they sort of say me uh, Homo sapiens 0.5 or something? With its steam engines, blast furnace and telegraphs, the root stock of modern humanity. The original Homo sapiens remained for the first, most part in the Stone Age, where they had been when those first explorers entered the Middle East and encountered for the first time their Neanderthal cousins. It does not take a very extensive grasp of history that no, see that no human invention since the stone hand axe and possibly the bone harpoon for fishing originated in sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, my lord. Um... The harpoon, which first had been devised in Africa, has been around for over 35,000 years. Since that time, nothing more has been invented by the original Homo sapiens in their homeland. Everything from the wheeled car and written word to jet planes and smartphones has been invented by those whose origins lie in Europe, the group who we have called Homo sapiens plus. Uh, once again, China seems to have wandered out of this equation. We seem to have a very strange kind of divided world in, in, in the Simon view of history here. China's gone missing. India's gone for a burn. Um, the population of Homo sapiens, which lived in Africa for perhaps as long as 2,000 years, has not come up with any new ideas since the Stone Age. There may be another reason for this, other than the fact that they did not receive the boost of Neanderthal DNA, which everybody else on the planet now possesses. Cue the old X-Men cartoon music from the 90s. Uh, while those Homo sapiens who left Africa were mating with the Neanderthals and acquiring various useful genes, which we have to this day. Um, I can't read any more of this pseudo-scientific nonsense. It's too ridiculous, truly. Uh, if, if somebody who was a real geneticist was reading this or a real biologist, they'd, they'd be dying laughing. Um, I'm, I'm nothing of the kind, but, well, neither is Simon. I hope nobody really, who's really a biologist or genetic, start, starts reading this, because they'll probably uh, collapse over the keyboard with a, uh, <laughs> and cough their coffee everywhere. I think that's sufficient to convince you of the, uh, yet more strange and tendentious nonsense in that document from yesterday.